Today, I'm going to show you how to create a personalized job search plan using ChatGPT, and I'll show you all of the prompts that I used so you don't have to recreate the wheel. Now, I've always been an early adopter, and I don't see ChatGPT as something scary or that it's out to take my job. I see it as a tool that really helps me during my work day. It makes me far more productive. I love to brainstorm with it, and it helps me generate better and faster results for my job and every project I work on. Now, if you told me I no longer had access to ChatGPT, that would be scary. iHire connects you to industry-specific jobs in over 57 talent communities. Find your niche today on iHire. Now, I pay for the ChatGPT Plus plan. It's $20 a month, and that is a drop in the bucket compared to when you start thinking about what your time is worth. With ChatGPT, it's all about the prompts. You've heard that old saying, garbage in, garbage out. Well, that's the same for ChatGPT. So here's the prompt that I used to start this personalized job search plan. ChatGPT, your role is a professional job search coach specializing in planning a job search. Your project is to create a step-by-step -step plan for finding a new job. Create a job search timeline of three months in a table. Provide a list of resources related to my job search. That would be job boards like I hire, industry-specific sites, and associations related to the construction industry. Please ask me three questions that will assist you in the process before we proceed any further. All right, this is great. It did just what I asked it to do. It asked me three clarifying questions. So it wants to know my current position and desired role, my geographic preferences, and it's also asking about my network and my connections. So we're pretending here that I'm a project manager with over 20 years of experience in the food process building industry. I'm a professional engineer. My target position is either a senior project manager or a director's position with a larger construction company specializing in the food industry. I have a large network of connections on LinkedIn and I have no geographic limitations or preferences. Very good, it's given me a week by week plan. Now my month by month plan. All right, let's go back and review. Here's my preliminary month by month plan. It breaks it down into weeks. So my first month is going to be all about research and preparation, updating my resume, updating my LinkedIn profile. Very good. Research potential companies that align with my target. Start a list of the top construction companies and narrow that down based on the specialization in the food processing industry. Begin applying for job postings and start to think about attending specific, uh, industry specific webinars, workshops, and conferences. All great advice. Month two, it has me actively searching and networking, continuing to apply to those job openings, attending local or virtual networking events. Week three is seek feedback from any rejections to improve your approach. That's great advice. Engage in online forums or groups. That's perfect. Continue with the applications and start preparing for interviews. And month three, it has me uh, doing interviews and salary negotiations, telling me to send thank you notes post interview, extremely important, something that I would tell everyone. Continue to attend interviews, that's the thing. If you get an interview, don't stop searching. Continue that job search until you have a signed offer in hand. That is really where a lot of people will stop if they get an interview thinking that they are a shoe in for that job. So never stop searching until you have that signed job offer. Week three of month three, negotiate those offers. Week four, formalize those job offers and give your notice. Here's the resources that it gave me for my job search, the general job boards, also the industry specific job sites like I Hire Construction and Construction Jobs. It gave me a list of associations and it gave me some information about LinkedIn and how I can use that in my job search. Now this is just the tip of the iceberg. You can ask it additional questions. You can ask it for more information. You can ask it to dig a little bit deeper on a certain topic. 
really the, the sky is the limit when you're using ChatGPT for something like this. I hope you found this valuable and that you're inspired to integrate ChatGPT into your job search strategy or even into your job. Because once you use it a few times, you are going to be hooked, just like I am.